Hello everyone, welcome back to WebDev Mentor's YouTube channel and we are watching Learning Bootstrap series. In this video, we are going to see about adjusting column widths using column offsets in Bootstrap. Before we get started with the coding, let's see what the Bootstrap documentation has to say about the offsetting. So where are the offsetting column section which is present under the grid system and uh, you can just go to the link by just pressing it and what it says is that move column to the right using column MD offset and the size of the column that is the size we have used in the column sizes as well classes these classes increases the left margin of a column by this much amount the star actually decides this column space for example column MD offset 4 moves column MD 4 over 4 columns so that what it stands for so in order to create a gap or an offset between two columns all you have to do is that create an offset to the right element not the left element don't forget that the column offset will create a space for that column in the left side not on the right side so if you want a gap for a column on the left side use the offset so that's how you have to do it for the, these three examples that bootstrap has provided so we are adding column offset for the second column so what happens is that this column offset of four column space is introduced between these two columns so what happens is that if we remove this column offset all you can see is that column MD4 this column will be adjacent to it and in here we have added an offset of three so what happens is that it introduced three column spaces before this column so the left of this column and uh, here again we have ordered column MD offset 3 so again there is a 3 column space before this column so as it states if you add an offset class to a particular column there would be as extra added space of that particular offset size before the column so that is the left side of the column will have the space specified by you as a column offset so let's add it. So I am having four columns in here as we have seen in the last video. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reduce these columns to three columns and I'm going to add offsets between them. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to remove it. And so I need a space of one column between these two columns. So I'm going to add the offset to the second element. So column MD offset 1 and let's see how it works yeah you can see there is a space and again I'm going to add the same class to the next we are here so the reason why I didn't add the column offset in the first column is that I don't want a space before that because we have already the space that is needed but in case you want to add it you just add it and you'd be seeing the space in the left side but I don't need it so I'm going to remove it so now we have offset there is a gap the space the column space between these three elements so now this design is looking different because of the reason right now we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 9 and 11 column space is covered up so we can add one more but again that's not going to work out properly and this will work for medium devices and large devices of course but for the smaller devices you won't be having the offset so in case you need these offsets on the smaller devices as well use the same column offset but use SM in place of MD so as we have already seen MD stands for medium devices and SM stands for small devices XS stands for extra small devices and LG stands for large devices so if you think that your website has to look in a specific device in a better way or in a way that you want it to look you can add the specific column size like SM, XS, MD or LG so, in this way it is useful there is a gapping between everything but what happens when I want to set a particular column to be centered in a page so I have this column so I want it to be centered so all you have to do is that first of all let me actually create a row 
with that so that it is first separated okay now let's first look at it how it looks so this is how it looks we have two rows one row is having only one column and the second row will have two columns of course there is a gap in here because of the reason that we are using one offset MD offset so now I want this column to be centered in here so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a column offset so we are having let me first come to this part so we have a column size of 3 for MD so which means that we are going to cover 3 out of the 12 column spaces now I have 9 column spaces and all I have to do is that I'm just going to change it to 4 so that it becomes an even number so I'm going to divide it by 2 and I'm going to get 4 as answer all I'm going to do is that I'm going to add 4 in here and refresh it it's centered now so this is how you actually have to do it so if you want something to be centered in your uh, website and you're using column for it you can use the column offset all you have to do is that find the space the entire space of your website will be 12 column spaces if you have not reduced it by using nested columns but right now we are having 12 column spaces the entire website is covered with 12 column spaces as we have seen in the first and second video of our learning bootstrap series the bootstrap is mainly made of 12 column spaces so right now I have a column of 4 so the remaining columns will be 8 so I want it to be centered so I want 4 columns on the left side and 4 columns on the right side all I have to do is that introduce 4 columns on the left side and we will be having 4 columns on the right side automatically so in order to introduce some column spaces on the left side all you have to do is that add an offset class to your column so I have added an offset class of 4 with the medium size in my column this column so I'm getting 4 column spaces but now when we reduce this to a smaller I'm not getting it because of the reason that I have already added x is 6 so I have to add a column offset for x is and as we have already seen we have used 6 so the remaining column space that can be applicable is 6 so I have to add 3 as offset in order to center it but of course in smaller devices all you have to do is that just cover it completely but right now I'm having centered so if I am using something like the offset as 10 and 1 that's going to be much more perfect it's going to be centered the gap will be same so I have added 10 for the axis which is giving me two more column spaces to work with so I'm dividing it by 2 and, and adding it to the offset so it is creating a one column offset on the left side and right side we're not doing anything but we have only one column left space so all you have to do is that use an offset in order to center a column or move a column so if you want a column to be at a particular position all you have to do is that remember that this website will have 12 column spaces and you decide which number from which number of column to which number of column your content has to be there so all you have to do is that if that is only one column that you have to have in a particular row all you have to do is that add an offset for those columns that you want to avoid those column spaces that you have to leave empty before that column so for example you can use this uh, grid system so this is 12 column spaces in here so you want column spaces 4 to 9 to be filled all you have to do is that create an offset for 3 so if you want this to start from 5 to 9 all you have to do is that you have to add the column space offset for 4 so that's how it works actually you can just change things around using the offset so that's the end of this video please try to implement this in your website so that you can understand what column offsets can do and how it can turn your website more responsive and also more good looking so that is actually the end of this video we have seen about the column offset 
in this video and uh, if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and also like the video share the video so that others can see it and learn bootstrap from here and if you have any doubts comments suggestions or feedback please use the comment section of this video or as the facebook page or our twitter handle you can find the links for those also in the video description and thank you for watching this video and uh, keep watching the learning bootstrap series so that you can learn bootstrap in a better way